two guitar strings are stretched by tensile forces. String X stretched by F cause extension X. String Y stretched by two times the force, two times the extension. The strings obey Hooke's law. What is the ratio of strain energy in both strings? So we think of strain, we need to know what 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 a strain mean and what a strain energy means specifically. So in case you don't remember, strain energy uh, is another name for elastic potential energy. It's the same thing. You can use the main equation, which will be half fx, or in terms of Hooke's law, when you have spring constant and things like that, it's half kx squared. But in this case, it seems like what they gave us was force and extension. Force and extension. So I don't think we, we want to spend extra time to find spring constant. So we'll just go with half fx. Okay, now the ratio. So the first part, we just need to find strain energy in x. So half fx. That's it. We're just writing what it is. That's for the top part. The bottom part. We take half uh, y, right? So 2f. What's the extension up there? 2f will have 2x. So we write here 2x. Okay, let's do some cancellations. Half and half is gone. fx, fx. What we have left will then be just 1 over 2 times 2, right? Well, oh, it's not cancelled out yet. Ah. Oh, this 2. And this too. So that will be 1 over 4. So the best choice we can choose here is 1 over 4, which will be this answer. Okay, so stay calm. Know your equations. The terms especially. Strain energy. Don't use the strain equation. Strain energy is elastic potential energy. Okay, so that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.